New details on a deadly crash. A teenager is killed after his car hits a utility pole and a tree, splitting it in half. Police say speed was a factor. Tonight, the victim's friends and family are remembering a young life lost too soon. Pinpoint News Tracker takes you to the scene at the corner of Church and Bugby Avenues in Warwick. And that's where Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Relatives and friends are mourning the loss of a 19-year-old Warwick man killed early this morning in a one-car crash here in Warwick. A makeshift memorial on a telephone pole drew young people all day as they grieved the loss of 19-year-old Corey Kenyon of Warwick. Good kid, I mean, he never bothered no one. He'll do, he'll do anything for anybody. And it just sucks that to happen like this, you know? I had my mom bring me up to the hospital. And then I walk in the room and I see Corey. And it was just like he was sleeping. Like, you just wanted to wake him up. It was just after midnight. The police say Corey Kenyon knocked down a telephone pole and split his car in half. The police say he was speeding. Today, a cousin and a friend question whether the tragedy will teach young drivers to slow down. The kids are going to do what they want to do in the end. I mean, you can tell them to do one thing, and regardless, they're still going to do what they want to do. Nothing's going to change at all, really, yeah. I don't think. Kids are, kids are going to be kids. Kids are stupid, but I don't know. You're not going to change like the whole speeding factor because people die every day. So, I mean, why not? Why aren't you're going to change the whole, you say, the whole speeding factor. Why won't this change people's minds about speeding? Because people are stubborn. It's a gauge of just how hard it is to convince young drivers to slow down that even relatives and friends of Rhode Island's most recent victim of a speeding accident don't think these flowers will speak loudly enough. In Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. Now the